fellow collectors, today we'll be talking about DC Multiverse. This is the Dawn of DC Red Hood. Very cool looking Red Hood here on the side. We have Red Hood and we have this code. On the back we have some nice artwork of Red Hood holding two swords. On the side here, we have Don of DC. On the top, we have McFarland, 22 points of articulation. On the bottom, lots of words and the UPC code. So let's get it on the scale and see how much it weighs. Okay, so Red Hood is coming in at 9.8 ounces. So let's get him out of the box. Hey, open, <sighs> damn it, open! Now to get him out of the box, just slice three pieces of tape at the top. Open these tabs up and pull him out. And you'll see the insert contains all the goodies of the card and that. So we'll pull that out. Now he is simply just in plastic. Take your snippings and pop those out. And these are in tape. So let's go ahead and break all these accessories out and take a closer look. Okay, now that we have them out of the box, it comes with these accessories. And here is his card, the front, and the back. Now the red hood comes with a stand as normal, and his boots, treads actually are all there, which is very nice. Just set him on the, the stand, y'all. Very cool looking red hood. Now more of a mask. And we see here, we have this rubber vest on that is glued right here and here. Got two plates for swords, or one of them for a crowbar. Very nice looking red hood. And one thing I love about it, includes the zipper and the treads. Very nice for the coat, the belt buckle legs and such cool now the red hood can do a nice t-pose rotate that around bicep swivel double bend in the elbow wrist on a peg hinge now head can look up and down a little bit right and left but you got to get in there to get your fingers on that face now he can do a little bit of a forward and back. Does turn at the waist. Does a nice split. Forward and back. Now he does have thigh rotation, which is very nice. You normally don't see that. Double bend at the knee. No boot swivels, but very nice articulation, or very nice details in those boots. Now his boots is on a ball of jointed peg hinge. So there's one peg there, one peg here. Rotates around and has a toe bend. So overall, very nice looking red hood. Now these extra hands here do come in handy if you want him to hold his sword and crowbar. Crowbar is the same type of crowbar that he had um, in the, like, the Three Jokers or other versions. Now the sword is sort of new for him. It's very nice. We do have the details here in the hilt. But other than that, it's just a plain sword. And you can, like I said before, attach it like you would, say, Nightwing's sword. But it is very tight. That one, so let's see if I can get it a little bit more in this one. Doesn't matter. Yeah, there we go. So it can hold it. That's the main idea for having those, right? Now, the seven half inch figure does not come with holsters or gun because of DD, DC's etiquette. But here he is next to the Red Hood here with guns that was released first edition, which is one of, still one of my favorite Red Hoods. Definitely love this guy. You can see the difference in these. Now, this 
part right here just comes underneath this and it's all it is it's just this red hood looking motif and not the batman motif anymore so if you're looking for this guy he is just out um as of this recording so remember to like subscribe and keep collecting